Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the last two episodes of Soul Eater that is 50 and 51. And uh, this will be the end of Soul Eater. And uh, let's see how this ends because uh, there are a few things, uh, not a few things, but like only the thing with Kishin is left to deal with. So I uh, like, I want to know like how it really like wraps everything up. So yeah let's see what actually happens and like what is like in the end like what will happen to shinigami and uh if like uh, like i don't know like what happens to soul now like he's kind of consumed and everything so yeah a lot of questions so let's get that cleared up in the last two episodes and since this is the end this will be the last episode like last video that i'm doing on soul eater uh, as i said before like uh, i've been doing a poll and the link is given in the description one week is left that is like in the next week i'll be picking up one of like one of the animals from it uh, which has the majority votes and so if you have still not voted and you want to like uh, vote in it or like uh, like check the list out be sure to like click on the link you'll go to that poll and you can vote in the like anime that you want me to react to there are like five uh, options so since this is the like the last uh, week that the uh, like poll will be open uh, i'm giving you guys a reminder so yeah if you're still not voted and you want to please be sure to go check that out and i'll be like starting the anime which has the maximum votes from the next week uh, i'll be doing two episodes per week so yeah like same as soul eater so okay so okay all things said so without further ado um let's get started with uh, episode number 50 of soul eater uh, i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go all right That's the main question. Yeah. I don't know, like... Hmm. Alright, let's see. Yep, buy some time. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what Soul has in store for Marka. I don't think that's all. Or maybe that is like the dark portion of soul's soul. Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> okay uh like one thing i'm really um, like i don't know disappointed is i think is the right word is that arachne had nothing to do like what was the point of her like in this show like at least uh, the other like mosquito mifune even the like saw guy like uh, like chain guy he the, they had some kind of role they like fought, fought some of the like shibusan people and they did stuff but arachne was like i don't know like he she just came 
like kind of acted as a boss for a few episodes and then got killed like what the hell was the point like we like barely got to see anything from arachne so i don't know man like medusa was such an impressive like character so i was at least expecting something from arachne but like <clears throat> oh boy yeah <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, that. So this is the real soul, or is he tricking Marka? Um, you close that. So. I don't know. I. I this this soul is us. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the imposter. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, good. My god, Ashura's defense is like... Okay. <laughs> that was just like a crack in his neck. Uh, ah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, soul resonance. Oh, they are already doing soul resonance. So, God. Um, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, what are they doing? Oh, okay, oh no, uh kid didn't use his soul resonance. They're going to Trump Okay Oh, uh, okay What? Oh my god, Black Star <laughs> um, why don't you do like both of them do it like both of them cover each other and like use their ultimate technique or whatever <laughs> oh wait what what Um, 
is he okay like what the hell okay what oh my god i don't open any boxes like what um what that's the real soul what type of an excuse is that like um maka don't fall for a stupid type of excuse like that oh okay it is even written like soul box I'm sure I'm sure Maka like suspects something because soul doesn't talk like this like he is a little too like uh, uh um what what's happening now what what wait what's happening what what the hell What? Is this a trump card that he was talking about? Wait. Sans? Okay. Yeah, Black Star is still here. Like. Okay. Oh my. Oh my god. Well. Okay. <laughs> it's like that annoying little fly that's always like disturbing you in your face. <laughs> Bless that. Uh, those are clones, I'm guessing. Okay. Clone again. Oh, oh, good job. Well, I doubt that will work. Like, that's only good for stalling for time. Oh. Wait, what's happening? Um, my question is, is he going to be okay after this? Like, kid?
Oh! Wait. I don't think it's so easy, like... Yeah, what's happening with him? Like, oh boy. Well, uh... well hopefully. But this thing is still like alive, I think. Oh my god, okay. His outer shell is broken and. Okay, I don't like this like kitchen. The previous kitchen was a lot like better looking. <laughs> Um, I don't think so. Uh, nope. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, Stein is here. Yeah, but um um Come on. I'm sure like you like are suspecting something. Yeah, okay. Thankfully, she, like... Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. He closed the door and said that I cannot get out. You're a bad actor, dude. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Hair. Hmm, okay. <coughs> yeah, but you cannot open it. Oh. oh boy. 
or defeat you that's another option i'm guessing um Okay. Yeah, she has the like anti demon wavelength, so I'm guessing that will help. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hmm, okay. Wait a minute. Oh boy. Oh yeah, the, I think her wavelength is working against it, isn't it? Like, like her anti-demon wavelength. Well, I was kind of expecting that because obviously she is... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go to work. <laughs> yeah, your work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> And now <laughs> do some work inside me. <laughs> like provide me some power or something or whatever. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Well, that was kind of easy, I'm guessing. Like, I did not expect it. Like, going so easily and quickly. Uh, oh, Black Slade is also defeated. Oh uh, boy, and this guy is spewing off philosophy lessons again. Well, I uh, like it's pretty um, easy to like guess what's going to happen in the last episode, so yeah. So, like. So, like, we're going to see, like, Soul and uh, Maka versus Gishin in the last episode, I'm guessing. But thankfully, like, uh, Soul can use his full potential now because obviously the thing that was kind of hindering his, like, uh, power was, like, the little devil. Now that he is kind of, um, like, he has respect accepted him, I'm guessing it will work, again, like, for his favor. And like uh, Maka with her anti-demon wavelength or uh, the strength, she will also be able to um, help Soul like like he, like her together with Soul will be will be able to like wield their power even more efficiently and even more better. But one thing that is really um, I don't know what to say like. Uh, kind of unbelievable is like the Kishin 
who completely destroyed uh okay here's the end uh who completely like uh like obliter not obliterated but completely like destroyed shinigami like that how the hell can these three uh not three uh seven stand against him like and now like even like now he's even more powerful than his previous form when he fought with shinigami like i can kind of understand uh like uh like what can i say like uh like it is understandable that at that time shinigami was not prepared like uh like uh kishin kind of did the same thing uh like he threatened to kill the others and shinigami had to go and cover for that and I'm sure like uh, Shinigami did not have enough time to like prepare his own defenses so after going and like uh, defending um, them he like got the full brunt of the like power that like Kishin uh, released and that is the reason why like he got so badly like damaged and so badly hurt and he is unable to like do anything now kind of get it like he was not prepared so that was the reason why but still, like, he, like, this is Shinigami we're talking about. Like, he got so badly hurt. So how the hell are, like, these, like, these kids are able to stand in front of Kishin after Kishin has been even more powerful. Like, Kishin got even more powerful after, like, uh, consuming Arachne. So he's, I'm guessing, <laughs> double the, like, has... <coughs> twice the more power he had when he fought with shinigami so how are like that doesn't really make sense like if they were so damn powerful like i'm talking about soul maka black star and a kid i can kind of understand because he is the like uh, son of shinigami himself and then as they said like she had kind of he had kind of like a hidden power his like uh hair like thing whatever that like connected and like he kind of became like this uh like got an extreme surge of power suddenly like i can kind of understand that but still they are like students technically like if they had the same strength at shinigami and they can like fight against uh like uh, kishin if they had the same amount of strength then like i i don't think that's like uh that's something that is believable like uh, this like the amount like the bal balancing in the last couple of episodes has been pretty bad like they are like doing whatever the hell they are like like uh, wanting like the how are they getting so much power to stand against uh like kishin like kishin is something else completely like he is like he's like the last boss of a game of a like 50 plus like of a uh, like 50 plus hours game he is the last boss of a game so how are like uh, these kids uh like able to like stop him like this like in my opinion like kishin can just flick them away like he is so powerful because uh, of the, like the strength we saw before so this like this kind of thing that they are doing in the last few episodes uh i don't know if this is um like uh i like i don't know what to say about this like the balancing of power is pretty like uh out of whack in the last few episodes and <sighs> like yeah that's like like the only kind of a little bit of uh complaint i have otherwise uh the way they like did this episode uh the whole like uh kid kind of releasing his power was pretty damn impressive to look at and his uh like uh like i was not expecting that at all and uh the whole thing with uh soul uh like uh maka you know like bringing soul back was expected obviously because we knew that uh, Maka had that anti-demon wavelength in in her and i was sure that that was going to like uh play uh, like play a big role in here and uh like after she got in uh like kind of expected this happening like uh her like anti-demon wavelength kind of negating whatever bad influence soul is like under so it kind of happened like that it kind of happened a bit too fast like i was not expecting her so like to like break soul out of that place so easily but uh yeah but i'm guessing like they don't have enough time so they're like uh, rushing everything uh, like only one episode left so yeah but okay that's kind of acceptable as well like i kind of understood that 
but one thing i really cannot uh like understand is the whole power level thing like how are these kids like kids being able to stand against kishin where like even shinigami was defeated so yeah like i don't know like yeah they're like kind of like i can kind of like I understand like they are rushing the whole thing so quickly like for example uh, like i'm taking another anime uh, like uh, as an example naruto like naruto became as powerful as he is now after so many episodes after so many training so much like uh, like after so much so many things he went through he became as powerful and surpassed the hokages then he was able to like confront madara and kaguya later on so like that is something that is understandable because we saw him gradually going stronger and stronger and stronger breaking his limits and then like going past the hokage's level and going to uh, like level when he could like stand against kaguya and fight but like this is like uh, like in this like in soul eater it's more like they were like fighting and they were like pretty damn strong they're pretty damn strong i'm not like <clears throat> saying that no they're weak or something no they're pretty damn strong but i think the level they are now if i can compare it to something else would be the same level that naruto had when he learned the sage mode like the power level like in my like opinion like in in, in the way that i'm looking at the show like <clears throat> the in the power the pair power level they have are can be comparable to naruto's sage mode but not like not at all it can be compared to naruto's final form that is the qb mode but like they are like i think they like jumped a few steps suddenly uh, i don't know what they're going to do in the last episode if like somehow soul maka and all of them are able to defeat kishin i'm going to say like that is extremely like uh i don't know inappropriate at least like the power level balancing in this show like became extremely rushed in the end so i don't know like uh, that's the only kind of complaint i have otherwise uh, the it's kind of like wrapping up properly but this like power level i think took a like few steps like a jump like jumped a few steps ahead and it's suddenly like they're so powerful and they can like hold their ground against kishin but let's see like uh, i like i'm not saying anything else because i'll have to like see the last episode and judge it for myself uh, like what's actually going to happen if they somehow get defeated i think that is more appropriate because kishin is like the last boss of the whole thing so i don't know like what i will feel if like uh, maka soul and all of them like all of the others like are able to defeat kishin just like that because i don't know anyways let's see let's see the last episode uh, like this is episode number 51 of soul eater so without further ado let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Go. Oh, what? All right. <clears throat> oh, there's nothing weird except what? Oh boy. I think he should have like opted for a different job. Like he could have been a good author. <laughs> or a good teacher. <clears throat> okay. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what? 
well obviously like Okay, um, mm. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Um, Use the soul resonance. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there it is. The uh, anti demon. Um, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, yeah, well. Uh, <clears throat> um, okay. Oh, all right. What? Yeah, but uh, well, that anti demon thing was probably going to be the trump card here. Yeah, demon hunter. Yeah, but would it work on Kishin? Like, he's like the ultimate boss, so. <coughs> hmm. Oh, what the? Uh. Oh, it is cutting him, but oh my god, it's not working. What? Okay, um, okay, that fails spectacularly. <laughs> oh, okay, um, um. Oh my god, did Soul like cover for her? Oh my god, I, I saw this coming.
<laughs> um kishin this is not the time please uh uh Yeah. I don't think that's the option anymore. What? Um Oh boy What? Oh, okay. Yeah, wh what's happening? What the? What? Wait, what's happening? What? Wait, what? What? Wait, what's happening here? Like She's unconscious. Okay, so Oh Oh no, okay. Um Oh Oh my god. Okay, I'm not uh,
Um, Oh, Shingam is back. <laughs> okay. Well, thank God. Wh what is happening? Like... Oh my god. Wait, this is how it's going to end? Oh my god, is this how it's, is this the like path it's going to take? Is this what I think it is? What? Oh, uh, Marcus mom's postcard. <laughs> I'm sorry, like. <laughs> Oh my god, no, please no, like... <laughs> I'm like Christian now. Face. I'm sorry, like this is a uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, what you twisted your neck and you died? I thought he twisted his neck so much that he died like that. <laughs> like, that would be a hilarious. End <laughs> like, Kishin was like doing his circus tricks, he twisted his neck and died. Oh my god! <laughs> Kishin, I, I can say one thing that, yeah, you're like, you're saying everything that I want to say now. Like, what is happening? Dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god Kishin Kishin is hilarious in this episode Um uh. Oh no, please stop. Stop. Yeah, but still like what is this ending? Like, what is happening here? Like, like, is, is this what everyone was afraid of? The big bad Kishin? Like, what? Like, you know what happened in this episode? They, like, purposefully nerfed her. And then let her win. Like I even know that Maka is not so weak. But like what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Like I know this is not how the manga ends. Like the manga is completely different. The anime gets an like anime original ending or something like that. Like that is what I'm mad about. Like <laughs> Oh boy, I I don't I don't know like It turns out Kishin only needed one punch. Oh my god, no. Okay, another thing I, I'm like uh, really curious about what like Maka is a weapon like weapon turned into an user Like Okay Oh lord <sighs> okay, um, the one thing that I really liked the only one thing that i liked in this episode was uh like maka suddenly like uh, like transforming into like this weapon and uh, like thing that she is a uh, like weapon turned user so that was really interesting to know and i don't know if like this is kind of an anime original thing they like put in the last episode or if this is something that really happens in the manga later on and I also know, like, uh, like I think the last couple few episodes were kind of like, like were were like an anime original episodes. So like, just how Tokyo Ghoul was ruined in the second season by an anime original thing, and they like destroyed the whole thing. This is what happened. Like, <laughs> like Full Metal Alchemist, uh, like the original one, not Brotherhood. Like Full Metal Alchemist. Kind of also went in uh, anime original direction, but later on it also like uh, made another remake uh, with Brotherhood, and Brotherhood is like one of the best animes out there, and it is so damn good. Like uh, like as it like uh, 
followed the manga properly and i think like solitaire is pretty prop popular and i'm sure like the manga has uh, like like a lot better like ending uh, and i think uh, like the problem this anime faced was uh, like not having enough like uh, like going too fast like as it usually happens like it went too fast caught up to the source material and then like uh like then it was unable to like go forward and made like an anime original episodes which kind of ruined the whole thing but uh like i have to say like i like it was still okay like uh i think uh, 49th episode like up until it okay that's the end up until the 49th episode it was all well and okay 40 like 50th episode was also kind of okay but i really was not like uh getting the whole thing of how they were so like easily being able to like stop kishin like the uh power level balance but oh my god level like uh episode 51 like was like was so like i don't know like what to say like what was this i don't know like uh like am i freaking out too much or like like I, I want to guys know your, you guys' opinion who were like watch who watched this anime up till the end. Like are you satisfied with this ending? Like what the hell was this? Like the last episode especially. Like uh like I was really I, I kind of got a little bit excited when like uh, Marka started like uh like having this kind of like uh, uh, like an, a revelation that yeah Marka was a weapon previously and then like she like uh she was a weapon turned user i was thinking maybe she was like a pretty damn impressive weapon before or something or maybe she like lost her memories uh like because like she doesn't even remember like she's a weapon or anything like that and maybe she was pretty uh, like impressive uh person before and like uh her like weapon capabilities uh with uh combined with her like anti-demon wavelength stuff like that um uh, that would have been like kind of like triggered a new kind of response she would have been more powerful that's also kind of a bit far-fetched like uh, because obviously like they are like uh, fighting kishin kishin who is like the strongest person we have like all or, like always known that yeah kishin is the final boss in this anime like it's also like uh, it, that would also be, been a, been uh, would have been a lot far-fetched but still i could have kind of accepted it if, if something like that happened like uh, Maka unlocked some kind of her hidden power or something like that fought with Kishin and all of the others would also like join her and then fight again like together do the combined soul resonance uh, like uh, uh, kid would like uh, whip out her his like uh, hidden power or uh, what he did in the previous episode something like that and it would like they would have an amazing battle and it would have ended like if they did something like that it would have been also a lot far-fetched because obviously uh, shinigami was unable to like defeat kishin so how are these kids being able to do that but still but still it would have been okay like not acceptable but okay i can kind of like see it going like that like it would have been acceptable uh, like it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been good like a good ending but it i could have still accepted but they did nothing like that of that sort none of the others were like like stood up like they were unable to do anything maka like even after like uh, with her like weapon powers she used she was like using that she was also unable to defeat kishin but then what she does she stands up and says that i have a power what the hell is that power my courage like what like what is this like i i, I don't know like it it really feels really weird like uh, it, having seen an ending like this like uh, like I, I don't know like uh like i, I want to know you, your guys' opinion like is this something really acceptable like how they ended this anime like this like i don't know like i was really like soul eater was a really d damn impressive like show like i really enjoyed everything and i enjoyed one factor a lot more in soul eater which was his unpredictability like uh in a lot of shonen animes uh how the stuff like go uh, the previous like uh, the first episodes of soul eater up i think up until the middle of it or not middle i think 30 or 35th episodes up like up until then uh, each and everything kind of surprised me like i thought something was going to go in this way but it actually did not go that way it kind of like uh, like was completely like twisted the whole thing and a new kind of like outcome came out i was really surprised by that and i really enjoyed that 
and uh, I also like praised Soul Eater a lot of times before like when I was really surprised at a lot of things like I, I saw that yeah this is something really amazing like how shonen animes actually go it is not going that way it's something else and I'm like like pleasantly I was pleasantly surprised in each and every episode but then in the end it kind of became the like same like w started going on the same rail road like as usual as all this as the all, all of the shonen animes goes but it was still acceptable but in the last episode they did such a thing that i have not seen any shonen anime do like i don't think any shonen anime did this before did it like like blatantly like this like they usually use that like nakama power and everything like friendship power courage power it usually does that but still there are some explanations behind it like some kind of explanation but they didn't even bother to give us an explanation like krona said something about like everyone has it courage uh, like uh, i don't know what the hell happened to kishin kishin after hearing like uh, maka like uh, talking about courage and stuff like that he started freaking out and like he started like acting really weirdly <laughs> like <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to kishin in the end he kind of became mad kind of became senile he was like <laughs> going all crazy and everything and in the end Maka like dodges everything and punches him in the face one time only one time that somehow cracks Kishin's face and Kishin dies oh my god the more I'm thinking about this the more I am like <laughs> I don't know like the last episode Kishin kind of became a, like uh, like a comedy character you know like uh, how he was like acting <laughs> like you know what would have been better like i i was saying this before as well like when kishin was like twisting his head like and there was like this like a uh, cracking sound i was thinking like if somehow kishin died from that i think that would have been a lot better ending than this like i don't know what the hell happened here like, I think that would have been, like, a funny type of, uh, like, really, <laughs> like, unexpected, weird kind of an ending. But I would have been <laughs> happy at that. Like, that would have been hilarious if it really ended like that. Like, Kishin, like, uh, like, was, like, twisting his head around 360 degree. And suddenly, like, it broke his neck. <laughs> and because other people can't kill him, he, like, died by himself. And by an accident. And he died. Like, that would have been hilarious and uh, like I would have like really <laughs> like I would have praised this anime if it did something like that uh, like I know this is not the manga ending like but still if they had to do an anime original ending if they like did something like that <laughs> it would have been a phenomenal end and I'm sure that people would have like remembered Soul Eater for generations to come for having such a weird type of ending and yeah <laughs> I don't know but um yeah nah. i'm sorry to say but uh the last episode of soul, soul eater was not good at all uh and like i am really tired of the repeating like shown in like formula of friendship power courage power stuff like those like if like those things are okay but you must also have a proper explanation for that like uh like why is, is something like that like this last episode barely gave us an explanation how the hell did maga suddenly gain so much strength what the hell happened i uh, like uh, i don't know and even if there is some kind of explanation i refuse to believe that kishin who is like so damn strong who even defeated shinigami like that would be so easily defeated i refuse to believe that like i i i, I do not believe that at all like this was just something that they did like i'm i, th I think they like uh like had like they were in a lot of rush or something they were not coming up with some good type of like ending then they had like one or two episodes left so they thought like yeah let's use the uh like same old formula the same old shonen formula courage uh like uh, power of courage and friendship let's just use that and end it like that and they did it like that i don't know like I'm sure Soul Eater is amazing. I'm talking about the manga, but the anime ending is the worst. I I do not like it at all. I like it's a shame because I really enjoyed uh, like uh, the anime was so damn good in the first uh, like first ep like 
uh, not even the first few episodes the up until the 30 35th episodes i really enjoyed soul eater so much then it started to like become this kind of uh, really like i started to like see how like it's going like uh, like it jumped on the same railroad that all the shonen anime state and it started going like that but still i was enjoying it but the last episode is unacceptable i i i i'm not like i i really do not like this like how this ended like this is something like like no nope oh, oh boy like like i have to say like this anime had a lot of things that i really enjoyed i loved medusa so much not because like not for her like things that he do, did she did to krona like that is unacceptable but i loved her as a bad character as a villain character uh like i think after medusa like got destroyed everything kind of became bland like i really did not in, like uh, the way they like start the enemies that were coming afterwards are really like so bad like uh, like like ashura i had hopes for ashura but if this is how he ends like no that's not acceptable at all and so like yeah like i think medusa is the best villain in this show like hats off like uh, his char her character and everything her like intelligence the way she did each and everything and the way she went out uh the way she went out was a little like uh, unfortunate because she did not uh, like uh like she was unable to um uh, like uh like she was like not expecting that at all like suddenly like stuff like that happening like stein coming into his senses and stuff like that but still like he she was a pretty impressive villain and i really liked her so much like uh, she was like i think she's one of like uh, my best villains in my book like the way she did everything the way she calculated everything did stuff like that like she herself was not so strong but still she used her brains and like like made each and every person in this show like dance on top of her palm and i am i was really impressed by that and but like after she got destroyed then came like then arachne and like kishin got the like spotlight on them and like i really did not like them as a villain like arachne did nothing like almost nothing mosquito kind of had a fight but that was just that and kishin like look what happened to kishin like kishin destroyed shinigami i, I thought like yeah, damn this guy is so like strong so powerful after destroying uh, like uh, shinigami he like in consumed arachne's soul and i thought that damn this guy is even more powerful now like so how the hell are they going to defeat him and then this is what happens in the end anyways like no this last episode uh, i am like extremely disappointed i'm sorry uh, i also know, want to you know you guys as a opinion like if you guys enjoyed this ending like uh, like i have to say like i have nothing against that like this is just my opinion i did not like the ending uh, like i'm sorry to say so like if you guys enjoyed this ending or like uh, like this ending was acceptable to you okay it's all well and good but uh, like in my opinion no uh, like no this is this is not what i was expecting from soul eater and even though like the uh, anime has an anime original ending i was not even expecting something like this from even an anime original ending like even anime original endings are better than this like i have to say like i have been extremely disappointed by this last episode i'm sorry guys like i'm sorry to say like uh, this is just my opinion so yeah and like just like <laughs> letting you guys know so if you guys enjoyed this uh like uh how this ended or you, you are like ex did something acceptable like it's all well and good but in my opinion no uh <sighs> anyways guys so yeah guys thank you guys for watching uh i th like i had a plan of like after like seeing the ending i had a plan of like talking about soul eater how i enjoyed this show but now i like i like i cannot say anything like okay like i'm excluding the ending like the ending is out other than that uh, the whole soul eater journey was extremely like amazing like uh, i remember like soul eater uh, is was when i was like started like uh, doing youtube uh, like after like 3 or 4 months i started soul eater not 3 4 months i think uh, i cannot remember but i like started soul eater quite a long while ago and it was like when i barely started youtube so yeah um like uh, i remember like soul eater like was like one of the uh, like the show that got like the most views in my like the first episode i got the most views in my channel i was so happy and uh, like i thought uh, like when i started so little i thought maybe no one's going to watch but there was like one this one person who watched it watched it i even thought of like dropping it 
after like uh, one episode because no one was watching it but there was this one guy who watched and i got like uh like motivated to yeah like at least one person is watching so let me just do some more episodes so i did it i stuck with it and i have to say i was not disappointed at all i really like enjoyed a lot of things in soul eater for example the comedy the like random humor i loved it uh, i loved uh, like kid as a character i loved um uh, excalibur as like the comedy character i loved excalibur each and every excalibur episode i had a blast and um uh, i loved medusa as a villain like she was so damn impressive i even said this before and i'm going to say it again <laughs> this is how much i liked medusa as a character as a bad character as a villain character and yeah like uh and the like uh, unexpected things how the like anime like went on how the like story like progressed was extremely a few things was uh, were extremely unexpected and i really enjoyed that portion of this show as well and yeah and like i have to say like uh like soul eater was really something like i really enjoyed uh the show and i'd probably like remember uh, it for like uh, years to come and the last episode will i will also remember for years to come for a different reason <laughs> so yeah uh but yeah guys uh nothing much to say uh about soul eater i had a great time like reacting to this and if you guys are still here and you're still sticking thank you guys for the support you've shown me for this like 51 episodes uh, i greatly appreciate it and yeah so this is the end so um, okay the uh, show that will like uh, replace soul eater uh, i'm like as i said before i'm doing a poll it's in the description uh, comment section below go there and vote if you uh, like want me to like react to a particular show and i will like select the majority the one that has the majority votes next week so i'll do it next week so you still have like one week left so go out there and vote for the show you want me to react to on this day every like week i'll do two episodes per day so yeah so again guys thank you guys for watching and uh, thank you guys for the support you've shown me to like uh, for this series and i hope you will show the same amount of support for the next series that I am going to do and for my all the upcoming reactions that I do I greatly appreciate everything that you have like uh, like the amount of support the amount of like uh, yeah support and love that you guys shown and thank you guys and so yeah that was it that was the end of Soul Eater that was uh, a Soul Eater episode number 51 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say about this anime in itself or anything in general and definitely comment below like if you guys like uh, like i don't know what your guys impression of like this episode is like how do you guys think like this episode is like i'm i'm really curious like to know like how everyone like took this episode so is this just me or like are there also a lot of you guys other guys like other people who are also not like uh, uh accepting uh, how this like uh, ending like happened how it like turned out or are you like are you guys like okay with it are you guys like enjoyed it anything like i'm really curious to know so be sure to like uh, comment down that below as well i'm really curious <coughs> and so yeah so yeah guys uh thanks for watching i'll be back with another like uh, new uh, show next week so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day